Part 3 of our tutorial video will cover the programming details of this Flex 5812 valve. Before the valve is plugged in, of course the screen is off. And once that's plugged in, you will hear the, the motor inside move and that means the valve has turned on. And once the valve turns on, you will see the valve flashing with the time of day. So if the valve hasn't been turned on for a while, it should read 12 o'clock. Our programming section of this video will cover three main topics. Uh, topic number one will be setting the time of day. Topic number two would be the user programming. And finally, it would be our master programming. So beginning with the, uh, setting the time of day, our valve now reads 12.02 p.m. And the valve just automatically cycles between the day override and the time of day. The, the day override will be discussed um, shortly and that, that will be explained. So to set the time of day, it's very simple. There's two arrow, there's three buttons and you use the right two arrows. The, there's an arrow pointing up and a, an, uh, an arrow pointing down. So to increase the time of day, let's say for example, our local time here now is 3.30. We would hold the up arrow and you hold that for a few seconds, it should start increasing the, the minutes and then from there it starts increasing the increments and in how fast it changes the time. So once we hit 3.30, we let go of the, the arrow we, we are our fingers on and we would hit this extra cycle button to get out of the time of day setting. So now you'll see that it will flash to 3.30 and we have set the correct time of day. There are three main steps to the user programming mode. Step number one would be to access the user programming mode by holding down the up and down arrow simultaneously for five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five. So after five seconds, the screen should change uh, whatever is displayed on there. And the first setting would be our day override. So step number two would be to set our day override, which is how, what's the, how often the backwash occurs on this valve. So for example, if we set a day override of four days, the, the filter valve will backwash our filter media every four days. And if we set it at five days, it will backwash every five days and so on. Now the, the day override setting should be um, set based on the application and media type. So I, we cannot really specify a specific day override, but for the sake of this demonstration, we will keep it set at five days and move on to the next step. To move on to step number three, you'll hit the extra cycle button. And once that's um, properly pressed, the next, the, the third uh, step of this process would be the regeneration time or RT. The RT, as, as I mentioned, is the re regeneration time, and that specifies what time of day you want this valve to backwash the media. So for example, if you know your application or plant has downtime, let's say around 2 a.m. in the morning, we would recommend to set the backwash or regeneration time at 2 a.m. So we will set this at 2 a.m. And, and when that's set at 2 a.m., to save the setting and exit out of the user programming, you would hit the extra cycle button once. It is very important to note that if you have multiple valves operating together um, before an RO system, let's say you have a media filter and a carbon filter, it's very important that you set these regeneration times um, with maybe 30 minute increments or one hour increments so you ensure that these valves are not backwashing at the same time. So for example, if you have a multimedia filter, uh, in the beginning part of the process, you would set that at, let's say, 12 a.m. And if you have a carbon filter downstream, you would set that at, at 1 a.m. So there's no overlap between the regenerations. And with that, we have concluded our user programming settings. So now to discuss the master programming mode, which is, will be the third uh, section of our programming part of this tutorial. Uh, step number one of um, of this master programming mode is to access the program, pro master programming mode. And to do so, you must set the time of day at 12.01 p.m. Press the extra cycle button once that's set at 12.01. So regardless of what time of day your valve is set at, you must set it at 12.01 in order to access the user or master programming mode. Now, once it's set at 12.01 p.m., you would hold the up and down arrow simultaneously for about five seconds. And after five seconds, the first set point will be the, or the DF. So the DF stands for display format, and that basically allows you to set the display format in terms of gallons or liters. So we set, Pure Aqua sets its valves in, uh, with, the, with the gallons as our 
display format. Step number two would be to set the valve type. Since this is a Flex 5812 valve, we have a set of 5812. The other options would be a 5810 or a 5800. So since this is a 5812, again, you set it at 5812. The next step would be the RF or the regenerant flow. This specifies uh, what kind of cam is installed inside of this valve. So some of the sample set points you have filter, you have DF2B. These, the other settings would be used for other types of, um, you know, maybe softeners or other types, types of application. So since we are talking about media filters, our set point will be filter, which is FLTR. The next setting would be the CT setting, which is the control type. So there are four different options. You have the time clock, day of week, meter delayed, or meter immediate. So if your valve is equipped with a flow meter, you would use setting number one or setting number two, which is FI or FD. So this valve does not have a meter and it's very typical to have meter filters without a meter. So Pure Aqua uses the TC setting, which is the time clock, which means it will refer to the time of day setting or regeneration time to backwash this valve. So we will set our CT setting at TC, which is time clock. The next setting would be the day override. So as mentioned previously, the day override specifies the time or the number of days between each regeneration. So five days means that the, back, the valve will backwash the filter every five days. If you need to change that, you can use the up and down arrow to set a different day override. So we will keep a set of five for the sake of this demonstration. The next step would be to set the regeneration time. So as mentioned before, the regeneration time specifies what time of day the valve will initiate a regeneration or backwash. Now, again, it's, we recommend that the re regeneration time is set where you have minimal usage for water for each particular application or plant. And if there are more than one valve operating together, there must be certain increments or time slots between each regeneration time. For example, a media filter would be set at 12 a.m. while a carbon filter would be set at 1 a.m. The next step would be to set the backwash duration. So based on each application and media type, the backwash duration would be set. So the 10 means the backwash would take place over a span of 10 minutes or the length of backwash would be 10 minutes. So typically our media filters, carbon, green sand, and so on, Pure Aqua would recommend setting this at 12 minutes. Again, this can be fine tuned based on application and specific media if needed. The next step would be to set the rapid rinse. So the rapid rinse does a, it's basically doing a service directional flow, but bypassing all the water to the drain. We re th this comes factory preset at 10 minutes from Fleck. Pure Aqua recommends setting this at five minutes as we believe this is the most efficient use of the rapid rinse cycle and minimal waste of water. The final step would be the relay output. This valve comes equipped with a relay and the, the relay is, comes configured as off and if needed this can be configured as on or enabled EB. Now the benefit of having a relay is you can take an output that would basically specify or energize the output once a regeneration is in process. This can be connected to control panels such as RO systems or building monitoring systems that would um, notify the operators of when this specific valve is in backwash. So typically we equip our valves with these uh, relays and we enable them. So after en enabling the relay, you would hit the extra cycle button again to, to, to proceed to the next step. Now to, to set up or configure the relay, there are two settings. You, se you select the start time and the end time of when you want this relay to be energized. So if you wanted to energize or provide a signal of when the regeneration starts, the ST setting would, would be put at zero minutes. And if you want the end time to end when the regeneration ends, uh, a quick uh, tip is just to hit the down button twice and that will basically add up the backwash time plus the, plus the rinse time and since we have set our backwash time at 12 minutes, our rinse time at 5 minutes, you see a time here of 17 minutes. And once you have cycled through all these settings, the final setting again will be setting the relay end time 
and once that's completed you press the extra cycle button and with that that concludes our master programming setting tutorial this wraps up our learning center video and we thank you for watching